All right, here we go. Number one, Maya highways beneath the jungle. You think the Maya only had pyramids, stone statues, and doomsday calendars? Wrong. They also had highways running through the jungle. They were just hidden because Google Maps doesn't update Central America's forest layer until a team of scientists used LiDAR laser scanning from planes and discovered an ancient road network longer than the freeway systems in some U.S. states. Stone paved, perfectly straight, connecting ancient cities like a massive spiderweb and the wildest part? Some of these roads were built to line up exactly with where the sun rises on the winter solstice, meaning GPS, back then, was just looking up. They navigated by watching the stars. No software update required. The world used to think Maya cities were isolated islands in the forest, but they were more like ancient versions of Los Angeles and New York, linked by hundreds of miles of highway used for military movement, trade, and religious parades. And these roads weren't slapped together a thousand years later. They're still intact beneath dense jungle. Meanwhile, some modern American roads fall apart after one winter. Number two. Egypt's lost city beneath the sea. You've heard of Atlantis, right? A legendary city swallowed by the sea. No one can find it. No one knows if it's real or not. Well, ancient Egypt had its own version, and this one actually existed. It was called Thonis by the Egyptians, Heracleion by the Greeks, and Las Vegas. If you asked a merchant back then, it used to be Egypt's biggest trade gateway. If you wanted to do business, you had to stop here. It had statues, temples, harbors, operated like an international airport, but with boats and no delays, until one fine day the ground turned into swamp. A small earthquake was enough to slide the whole city into the sea like a muddy water slide. No alarm, no warning, just entire architecture sinking along with the god Hapi, god of water, harvests, and ironically, the first one to get face planted into the seabed. People thought it was a myth until the year 2000, when archaeologists discovered a five-meter-tall stone statue weighing tens of tons, just lying there like it had been waiting to be rescued for three centuries. If Atlantis is fiction, then Heracleion is the most real wipeout in ancient Egyptian history. Number three, Greek statues were never white. You picture a grand ceremony, Zeus stepping out in pure white robes. Wrong. He walked out with red lips, brightly colored clothes, black eyeliner, and muscles shaded like a magazine cover. Scientists used UV light and microscopes to examine ancient statues and discovered layers of paint that once covered every inch of them. Blue, blood red, gold. Enough to turn each sculpture into an outdoor Broadway stage. The colors weren't just decoration. They signaled social class, religion, divinity, ethnicity, even personality. Some statues were fully decked out like full-body tattoos with feather patterns, armbands, shoulder straps, and vivid facial expressions that looked like theological cosplay. For centuries, art critics praised white statues as elegant, while ancient Greeks, if they came back, would probably ask why the whole world is displaying the unfinished makeup test version of them. Modern museums aren't preserving history. They're accidentally preserving the undressed edition labeled naked by accident. Number four. The Maya accidentally poisoned their own water. If you think using bright paint to decorate temples is harmless, the Maya have a very expensive lesson for you. They used a vibrant red pigment called cinnabar to paint temples. Pottery? Basically anything paintable. And cinnabar is Mercury's glamorous cousin. Every time it rained, that paint washed straight into the drinking water reservoirs. And from there, toxic algae thrived. Not the kind you can fix by boiling but the kind that would make a modern water treatment team call for backup. Researchers found layers of sediment at the bottom of these reservoirs packed with mercury and toxins, each layer like a science fiction novel written in natural poison. When drought hit in the 9th century, people had two choices, drink poison or abandon the city. Most chose to leave, and that's why so many ancient buildings still look untouched, like their owners just went out for groceries. In reality, they didn't move far. They just moved out of a neighborhood where the tap water was made of paint. Number five, Egypt's permanent ink invention. If you've ever accidentally used a marker on your shirt and it never came out, then you'll understand what ancient Egyptians stumbled upon 3,000 years ago. They made ink by mixing soot with lead and brushed it onto papyrus. Not to poison their scribes, but to make writing dry faster, smudge less, 
and stay perfectly readable even after millennia in desert heat. Researchers scanned old documents with high-powered x-rays and found the lead had seeped deep into the papyrus fibers, outlining each stroke as clearly as if it were printed with an industrial machine. Black ink was used for regular writing, while red ink marked important things like titles, God's names, or basically lines that meant, uh-oh. Here we go. The funny part is, they used complex chemical blends that modern science only recently fully understood. Not because they were geniuses, but because they just wanted neat handwriting without dirty fingers, and the result is that their ink has outlived the pyramids. While today's ballpoint pens run dry after two weeks and leave smudges on your hand every time you sign something important. Number six, the oldest wooden statue in the world. If you think art only began when humans started building houses, the sugar idol is here to knock on your brain from the past. Discovered in a Russian swamp in 1890, its true age was only confirmed recently. And it's not just older than the pyramids, it's older than agriculture itself. 12,000 years old, over 5 meters tall, carved entirely with beaver teeth. That's right. No knives, no tools, just one beaver jaw and way too much free time. The statue has seven stacked faces, like the ancestor of a totem pole, covered in zigzag and wave-like patterns no one has fully decoded. It might be a religious message, a cosmic map, or proof that ancient people also liked drawing things no one understands just like today's modern art. The swamp that preserved it basically pickled it like a giant wooden cucumber. No rot, no decay, just perfectly intact like history was written yesterday. And thanks to a lucky dig, the hunter-gatherer world now has its own artifact for debating spiritual depth without needing a single written word. Number seven, wooden circles hidden beneath European lakes. You could call it wooden Stonehenge or maybe a construction project that got permanently forgotten underwater. But the timber circles found at the bottom of European lakes left archaeologists absolutely stunned. Not just a few random logs that fell together. These are perfect circles, handcrafted thousands of years ago, using joinery techniques so precise. People thought they only existed in the Middle Ages. The strange part is they were built on dry land, and over time, the water rose and swallowed everything. What should have rotted away long ago was instead perfectly preserved underwater, thanks to the oxygen-starved conditions. Like someone accidentally pickled an entire monument in a giant jar of swamp brine. The only thing the ancients miscalculated was using wood instead of stone. And the result was an entire masterpiece vanishing from human view for millennia. Until modern divers looked down and saw a circle so perfect, it looked like a UFO landing pad for fish. Number 8 scrolls that burned, but still speak. You can burn down a library in seconds, but good luck burning away human curiosity. In the year 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted and roasted the city of Herculaneum, including an entire library, toasted into one massive pile of charcoal candy canes. Inside were thousands of scrolls turned into fragile carbon tubes that could crumble into ash at a touch. And then, modern tech showed up. No unrolling, no fingers involved. Scientists used high-powered x-rays to scan through the carbon layers like doing a CT scan on ancient literature, then let AI loose on the images to search for letters, words, and fragments of thought. And it worked. They read philosophical texts about pleasure, joy, and fittingly, the first fully decoded word was purple. Because of course it was. The project became a global competition called the Vesuvius Challenge, where coders around the world raced to decipher the burnt library like it was a Rubik's Cube for digital archaeologists. The scrolls likely belonged to an ultra-rich Roman noble who owned over 1,000 unopened texts, probably unread, until one volcanic fireball and a global scanning effort turned ancient ashes into the Roman Empire's very first audiobook collection. Number 9. A sundial the size of a mountain range. If you've ever complained about adjusting your clock for daylight saving time, ancient people in Peru had a simpler solution. They built an actual solar calendar out of an entire mountain ridge. They placed 13 stone towers along the crest of a hill, perfectly aligned with the horizon. And by watching the sun rise through the gaps between towers, they could pinpoint seasons, dates, and the time of year. On the winter solstice, the sun rises behind the far left tower. On the summer solstice, it rises behind the far right one. And on the equinoxes, it shines through the center like the 12 o'clock mark on a watch. No batteries, no Wi-Fi, no leap year printing errors. 
This calendar has stayed accurate day after day for 2300 years, the strange part? No one knows who built it. It predates the Inca civilization by more than a thousand years. No names, no carvings. Just a giant, astronomical clock the size of a mountain range that still tells time more precisely than a brand new wristwatch. So if one day you forget the date, just hike up the hill, find the right angle, wait for sunrise, and let nature show you the calendar. That's all for today. Comment the one that fooled you the longest and subscribe if you want more Brain Bugs Explained.